Welcome back to The Haunted Beard. My name is Jake, and today I want to talk about The Sadness, a brand new uh, Shudder original movie that just dropped within the last week or so. And I uh, just gave it a watch last night and just wanted to give you my thoughts. So let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, the Sadness tells a story of a virus that breaks out. It is a film that was made in Taiwan, Taiwanese production. It talks about a virus that breaks out and this young couple just basically trying to survive. And that is pretty much it. So I was curious with this one because I kind of started hearing about its reputation as something really shocking, really extreme, really gory. And so I figured, ah, oh, we'll give it a shot and see what we thought. So the first thing to note is that this, for me, was is just a very one note movie it exists for nothing more than just to shock you and give you some extremely over the top gore <laughs> blood and gore scenes and that's that's really about it the film opens up we're introduced to our two main characters boyfriend and girlfriend he ends up dropping her off at work and about 15 minutes in there's a scene at a restaurant where an infected woman starts attacking people and pretty much from then on out till the end of the movie, it is just go all the way. There's there's no let up. Now, in a way, this is kind of a typical sort of zombie type movie, right? These people get infected with this virus. They become murderous. They become cannibalistic. Uh, but what this movie does is it also introduces this like sexual component to it, which is just really kind of gross because not only do they become these cannibalistic, you know, murdering zombies, but they also turn into these just aggressively sexual things as well. And it just adds this whole, you know, assault uh, sort of aspect to it that's just kind of it's just gross. There's a lot of just sort of crude and perverted dialogue that is added on top of this as if the movie isn't disturbing and gross enough already. They have to add this whole element, which just... Really, the issue with this is that I didn't really find anything of substance in this beyond just trying to be gross. You know, it's like if, if you were to <laughs> ask a high school student to like, what is the grossest thing you could think of? Let's film it. That's kind of what this is doing. It's just very one note. It it just exists for nothing more than to just be gross and disturbing. Now, obviously, I love horror movies, and so I don't have an issue with gross and disturbing movies. But when that's all you give me, and there's nothing beyond that, it 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 just kind of loses its effect. It, it almost you kind of just become numb to it to a degree. And it just continually hits the same note over and over and over. It exists for nothing more than just simply to shock you, than to just try to gross you out. There's nothing beyond that. This, this story, there's, there's no story other than it's just infected people trying to kill people. The, the characters are just, it, it could be anybody. There's nothing really special or unique about the two main characters. They're just a boyfriend and girlfriend. They get separated and they're trying to find each other, and that's really it. I, I will give it some credit because all of the, the the blood and the gore are all done with practical effects, and so I appreciate that. There's one sequence in particular that takes place on a subway bus that's, that's pretty good, but by and large, just the presentation of it is just, there's just not much there. Again, there's nothing beyond just simply trying to gross you out and make this as over-the-top bloody as it possibly can and it you know it gets to the point to it, it's so over the top it's so egregious it's just ridiculous right it, it's just completely ridiculous and i get that that's what they were going for but there's just simply nothing there's nothing more than that it exists for no other reason than to just simply be gross gory and over the top and that's it and after a little while too it, it just kind of becomes like it's just trying too hard and I mean, honestly, I, I kind of got a little bit bored with it after a while because, again, it just kind of continually pounds the same note over and over again. And uh, yeah, there's just not there's just not really much there. I mean, if, if that's your thing and you just want to see some gross stuff, then cool. 
um, but you're not going to get anything out of it beyond that. The movie is also extremely on the nose in terms of there is a kind of, you can definitely tell it's kind of trying to make a, some sort of social commentary a little bit. The, you know, relation between the the virus in the movie and the current pandemic is very blunt and on the nose. There's, you know, absolutely no subtlety at all, um, which, you know, whatever. <laughs> this is not a movie that's interested at all in subtlety, but it's just uh, that's what it is. There's nothing more than that. If you want to just see body parts being ripped off and, you know, people eating each other and other gross things happening, then you might like it. But if you're looking for anything at all beyond that, I, I just, I don't really see the point in, in checking this one out. So I, I don't really have much more to say about this beyond that. Again, there's, there's just not really much to it. There's a, you know, I appreciate the practical effects. There's a couple decent sequences, um, but, you know, there, there's, there's no suspense really. There's not really any sort of creepy atmosphere. It just goes, it just wants to dump as much blood and gore on you as it possibly can in, you know, 90 plus minutes and that's it. So, um, yeah, that, that's really all I have to say about this one. Overall, eh, I didn't really in, enjoy it all that much. I'm probably going to be at like a, probably like a three and a half out of 10. Um, yeah, so that that's really my thoughts on the sadness. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So uh, still thinking on some things, getting some ideas together as far as uh, what I want to bring to you guys next. I'm thinking about possibly doing another horror franchise series of reviews. And so, uh, yeah, so whatever I come up with, um, Hopefully it'll be good stuff, but uh, yeah, we will see you next time on The Haunted Beard.